Okay, we're taking a look at this funky little tune called Watch What Happens, written by Michelle Legrand in about 1964. Uh, it, it's, uh, it, it's got these really, really um, uh, neat changes that are, that are uh, uh, characteristic of that, of that period. And, and those characteristic changes um, allow for some uh, fairly interesting... Uh, improvisational opportunities, shall we put it that way. Okay, and so uh, the first thing we're going to do is just take the arpeggios through through this tune. Just the arpeggios. That, that'll, you know, that'll keep us going. Um, uh, we're in the key of E-flat, arpeggio of E-flat. Right, just do, I, I just want to do short form arpeggios because um, uh, if, if you want to do long form... that too um, but they're harder to use especially when you're when you're getting you know just getting used to a tune and really what I use our, our, our arpeggios for initially is to just give me an idea of where everything sits and then at least I can build you know I can build up from there right so let's just do sort of shorter form arpeggios and if I make it a little bit longer forgive me uh, and so there there's uh, there's my E flat major F9. I'm grabbing that nine there. Right, so there's my that why why I'm making an em em emphasis on the nine is that's the melody. And so you'll, you know, we wanna we wanna sort of keep that melody. Uh, in mind and uh, and keep it uh, keep a focus on the melody and then F uh, um, F minor nine so we can take the F down here to be fun. You, there's just so much stuff you can do here. Uh, and it sort of happens fast. Uh, but here's... So you have to, you have to d define those chords. There's a, there's a hundred w ways to do it. But let's say something like, like this, for instance, if we take... Here's, a, here's my five on top my three, and my major seven. So if I want to just follow the chords. section all uh what you know where we work up the, the fretboard i mean there's a there, again i don't i just played the chords but uh, there's just so many different variations that you can do there or little double stops Take a little triad like this, right? Uh, that 
if I take a triad like this, you're probably saying, well, that's a B flat. It's not an E flat. But actually, I'm, I'm looking at it as five, a major seven, and major nine. You know, we know you can work out the melody. Uh, so, so just, just our again, uh, arpeggiating. playing so that I'm hoping you're hearing the arpeggios, right? Uh, and, and hearing where the changes are going. The changes are at that G major seven. Uh, and then it goes minor. So that change there is um, is uh, is going to be E flat. And you can do voice in different places. sorts of different different color variations that you can uh, that you can do uh, do there and sometimes uh, you're not going to necessarily be able to fit you know fit arpeggios if, it, if it's passing by pretty uh, pretty quickly but but arpeggios are are, are, uh, are a great place to start uh, so as far as the uh, this chord progression it uses these parallel changes in three different ways in three different places which is clever uh, uh, ending uh, for first and uh, first ending. tracks going down two five to the one two five to the one ending back up on, on the E flat um, and then and then the uh, and then the the last time uh, we have so that's so that's so 60 uh, so we have the 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 one E flat uh, major is the is the one, and then the flat two major and the uh, seven major, right? Semitone above, semitone below, semitone above, and then and then the uh, uh, you know they're back to the tonic chord two. Back to the one. All right. So um, I, yeah, I think I think this is uh, uh, th this tune is a is a ton of fun uh, to learn how to solo over. I, you know, you, it's probably a valuable idea. Is to just work your way uh, through the through the scales as well. And then when you get to the F nine. F9 would be F mixolydian. Uh, 
uh, with the flat seven. Right, there's our flat seven. And, and remember that the nine, the nine is just going to be a semitone above the root, right? Probably, uh, probably just uh, Dorian, uh, meaning uh, meaning that uh, you know we're just going to start uh, start Dorian on the on the F. Um. <laughs> Some of you may say, "Well, you know, why, why are you why are you looking at that at that F uh, F minor nine as in as, you know in Dorian?" Well, because that would be the related scale to to you know if you're looking at it in one measure at a time. How do I play over an F minor nine chord? I'd say, "Well, and, and F F Dorian, right?" Um, I don't say, "Oh, well, that's just in E flat," because if you do that, you're not going to be nailing the tonal centers. Uh, you're not going to be uh, to be establishing the uh, the chord sound, right? Which is which is what it's all about. You want to imply the the chord the chord progression. You always have to go in that uh, in that direction. All right. Uh, so we have we have E flat Ionian, if you will, or major scale, and then F Mixolydian because it's it's a uh, it's a um, uh, a seventh chord, right, and uh, and then F minor would be you know F minor uh, uh, Dorian, and then B flat seven also Mixolydian uh, because it's a seventh chord, and then the these guys here you're not you know I'm you're not going to have time to start scale scale uh, uh, scale playing over over these changes, right? I mean. That, it's not going to be there, so uh, just just different different double stops, different chord voicings. You know, just a you know just a plethora of different possibilities that you have there in all of these parallel movements. When I say parallel movements, that means that all the voices, the four voices of the chord, are all moving up together at the same time and back down together at the same time. It's parallel parallel movement. Okay. And uh, and then we get up to the G major, and then you know, uh, then we have lots of you know, then we have time. Okay, so that's uh, uh, that's that's the way I would suggest uh, getting starting to get a grip on how to solo over over a tune like this, and uh, naturally you can extrapolate it all over the fretboard, but but that's not what this uh, what this lesson is about. I mean, you can start taking it up into into different regions and doing the same thing, you know, E flat and F and F minor. That that's fun, you know. If you if you want to start, you know, expanding, uh, expanding your your approach uh, to the tune. Okay, so that's uh, that's it for for watch what happens. Fun tune. Make sure to again not get a swing in this. All right. Let's keep it nice and nice and straight. You know that kind of 
that, that kind of feel, that kind of vibe. And, uh, and have fun with this one. Uh, if, if this was a help to you, subscribe, click like, uh, give us comments. Uh, comments are really important to us because we know, you know, they help us uh, to understand whether or not we should be looking for a job. Uh, and uh, then, um, uh, so, so click like, click subscribe, um, and, um, and leave, us, leave us comments because we will, we will get back. If there's anything that you would like us to do, uh, please, uh, uh, please let us know, and, uh, and we'll get to that, uh, whether it be a tune or exercises or whatever the case might be. All right, uh, appreciate it a bunch. Thanks for stopping by, um, and uh, good to see you again through the lens of virtual reality. Uh, and we will um, uh, we'll be in touch soon.